So thank you for joining us everybody. We're here at the Floridian and we have a very special guest. We've got 2017 Walker Cup winner, 2018 number one amateur in the world and PGA Tour winner in 2019. Sounds great, doesn't it? <laughs> That's amazing. Colin Morikawa. Hey, Good Colin, thanks for joining Good us. Thanks guys. How's things? Uh, they're great. I mean, you can't complain when you're traveling around the world, uh, playing the sport you love and um, you know, just trying to play with the best golf. So I, yeah. I love it. I love every part of it. Brilliant. And days like today really help, don't they? Really yeah. cool day. They're fantastic. Okay, so look, we've been doing our research. We've seen, obviously, it's very quick your rise, obviously, to, to where you are now. But your irons, we know, are phenomenal. So we want to pick your brains a little bit, find out what makes you tick, get you to play a few different shots. We've got three flags on the green, luckily, here. And we've got a question from one of our viewers. And also, Andy, are we going to do this? Uh, but we're well, going to take him on at the end. I don't know why. We're going to take him on at the end. We're going to take Two him against on one. Um, okay, but so, so for your irons, obviously, they are very strong. And do you feel they're the strongest part of your game? Definitely. Okay, I mean, perfect. I, I've known it forever. It's, You've known that forever. It's, it's a part of my game that I, I trust, and uh, hopefully it stays like that. Okay. Okay. So, what what in, in in your iron game? What's the most important thing for you? Uh, just knowing your shot shape. Okay. Knowing uh, how it's going to react off the face, wh where it's going. Uh, I, w I want full control. I love to play the fade left to right, uh, falling down. You know, and I'm going to play 95 out of 100 shots like that. You know, unless you really have to play a draw. Okay. And um, for me, it's just. That's what you want every club to be like. You want to have full control on the ball, but for me, you want to be able to work trajectories, move the ball, whether it's left to right, right to left. Um, you want to have every shot in the bag. Okay. So cre creativity, you, you mentioned that off exactly. camera, it's really important for you, yeah? Yeah, being creative, that's that's kind of my word um, that I'll tell myself, you know, pre-tournament almost. It's, let's just be creative this week. And uh, it doesn't mean you have to do anything weird mm -hmm. or hit shots, you know, you don't practice. It just means, let's let's see it, let's visualize it and uh, be positive from there. You can yeah. just play then, like you say, you can play yeah. freely then from there. Can't exactly. You? No, we're not thinking swing thoughts, we're just, we're playing to the shot you see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever you see behind the ball, that's what you're going to do. Brilliant. Sounds good. Well, should we see Colin hit a shot? Yes, yeah, I'd see like it. to right. see Colin hit a shot. We've got three flags on here. Can we go for the the second one, Colin, which is 164? Second on the right. Perfect. So you're probably going to play a little cut in there, like you say. A little cut. I mean, this is a perfect little choke down eight iron. Uh, wind's a little off our right, so I mean, this it, just matches everything with a little cut, hold it up against the wind. Uh, you don't have to work on trajectory at all. We're not going for that flag in no, the middle. No, we're not going for that flag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys we're going back left draw. <laughs> hook fish. Got a 20 yard yeah. hook, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very nice. And that's exactly what you've done. A little cut against the breeze, held it up. Keep watching it. Yeah, oh, a bit of adrenaline there. Yeah. You must be excited that you're yeah. with us, Colin, obviously. <laughs> so, in terms of golf swing then, obviously you don't like to get too technical. You mentioned you want to be free and creative. What are the things that, if it goes off, that you would focus on from a from a technique side yeah, of things? Yeah, I think, well, backswing for me, especially like I like to play fades, I'll, I'll get, I'll almost pick it up. Okay. You know, instead of turning everyone, you want to make sure you rotate, get that full body turn. Uh, my arms will kind of go up. I'll just put a glove in, in between my arm, simple drill, just make sure turn stays there. Let it go from there. Okay. Um, that's on the backswing. Downswing, uh, not much, but I do like to think about where I'm going to finish on my head. You okay. know, when I'm about top of my ear, that's neutral. If I'm hitting a really high cut, I'll finish higher. Draws, I'll finish lower. Um, for me, I exit a little lower than most uh, other guys. And for me, just thinking about the finish, you don't have to worry about everything here. You're just reacting to the target. Whether, you know, I'm going to hit a draw, I'm going to finish low, I'm going to hit a cut finish high you know for me that just gets everything from the downswing through the ball out of my mind I can be creative from there isn't that great because that's that shot we speak about that a lot about you let your finish determine the ball flight 100 I, and that's something that you know I've noticed in Asia right um, I was finishing a little too low and come back and it, simple fixes yeah. you know we'll, we'll make the ball just change enough I'm just going to grab a glove I'd love you, you to demonstrate this drill yeah because I think a lot of people at home can relate to this. Most amateur golfers tend to struggle with something that leaks to the right, mm -hmm. and it's easy to get separated with these arms as what yeah. you do. If you could demonstrate that and just show the viewers at home, that'd be brilliant. Yeah, let's see yeah. hit one. And you don't have to have, you don't have to have a full full turn if you can't get there. But it's stay wide, and that's you know you want to stay wide. Make sure you turn. You just keep this right underneath the left armpit, uh, and, and just worry about it on the backswing. That's it. So on it stays in on the backswing. Does it stay stays, on through swing? Stays on the, no, because I mean after impact, I'm I'm it's opening out. up here. Yeah, uh, we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, maybe on a draw it may every now and then, but yeah, yeah, exactly. But for my for my normal shot, you know, there's there's nothing wrong with it coming out after. And that's right at it again. 
Hey, maybe you should stick the glove in there more often. <laughs> That's even closer than the other one. Nice. But you can see how it came out afterwards. That was really cool, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? As you yeah. say, think, you don't have to worry. Sense. You don't have to worry about it. It's this is mainly a backswing drill, because um, you know when you pick it up, you see amateurs pick it up, come across, come over the top. Um, and that's, you know, a shot they hate because you don't want it swinging too much left or right. Mm. So for you, it's just managing the amount of, that you're doing, isn't it? Still making sure that the yeah. path is left, mm -hmm. but really managing it, c keeping it with the turn as Definitely. well, the arms. And if, I, if I'm cutting it too much, you know, like I did towards the end of this uh, summer, yeah, I'll just start working draws and, okay. and just think low. Think lower finish, kind of balance everything out, and then go back to hitting the cut. So it's almost like, say, if you were slicing here and hooking here, if you start to go a little bit too much towards the mm -hmm. slice, although you're not slicing it, You'll just put a bit of draw in just to balance you out, almost yeah, neutralize yourself. Just so you know, you see the, the ball working the other way. Um, and then when you go back to hitting your regular shots, it'll be perfectly fine. Okay, okay. I think we need Probably to go. We were gonna, we, one of the things we were going to need to do was to play a fade to that flag. But I think we need to change it up. Should we go like a back flag draw? I think so. That's perfect for that, isn't so it? So what's 176 that flag? 176 to that back flag. So this is interesting. Can you go same club for this because of the wind yeah. and the fact it's a draw? Definitely. And I, I think it makes sense. I mean, you have a lot of green to the right. Yeah. You know, if you're going to miss, you're going to miss out right, short, you're still going to be on the green. Okay. If you hit a really good, draws with the wind, you're going to be right there next to the pin. So we're talking 10 yards extra in distance, but obviously using the wind and using a different ball flight to, yeah. to allow for it. And do you change setup or do you focus more on swing here? <clears throat> I like to close my stance a little bit, start my body and everything a little right where I want to start it, club face out the target, swing along my feet. Okay. Um, and that's the same with the fade. I like to just open up the body a little bit, have the club face out the target. Um, but you know, for fades, it just comes naturally for draws. You know, I, I almost think I think I, when I watch Rory hit the ball and draw the ball, it is amazing. Mm -hmm. And to see, to just think of his swing, you know, almost just get something in me to hit that shot. So yes, I'm thinking about hitting it low, but in my practice swings, I'm like, you know, let's feel what Rory does. Rory has a great, lets it come underneath a little yeah. bit, you know, naturally just rotates through the ball. Um, so that's what I'm thinking when I'm over the ball. Just a little lower finish. It'll be It'd be nice fun. if all you need to do was think of Rory's golf swing and you could <laughs> produce it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. nice. And there you go. Yeah. No, it, just, it, it all just helps hit, hit that little draw, and that's all you need. It's not like we're trying to hook the ball here. No, no. It's interesting that you definitely put a lot of visuals into the feel as well, don't you? So that's, that's yeah. A, it's it's a big part, and you know I got to see it, but I also got to feel it. Okay. Beautiful, soft yeah, little really draw. Nice. It actually banks down from there, so this could end up really close. Oh, it didn't even kick in. I was expecting that to kick in. That's oh, a little, tough flag. That is really good. That tough is very flag. tough. It's, it's interesting though, looking at your goal swing, because you know, we were looking at your goal swing this morning, obviously a little bit closer, and you look at things like the setup for you, and the things, a few things going on, so the, the, the grip is you know, different to what some people would do, and I think we find that a lot. The right foot position is very square and almost kicked in a little yeah. bit. Is that purposeful? Uh, no, it's something that's kind of always just built in and sometimes I catch myself too much yeah. almost in and I got to bring it out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if, for me, that's what kind of feels comfortable. I've always swung like that. Yeah. Uh, grip wise, you know, I, I've got everything pretty close. You can see my left thumb. Um, but that's what I've always done and uh, why change that? I know? think it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely a trait on you. Think about some, we know some accurate golfers who grip it a little bit like that as well. So maybe that's the way to grip it for straight shots. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Straight shots. Well, you know, there's more, more than one way, isn't there? Really, it's finding something that works yeah. for you and that's consistent, which obviously it is. Yeah, I mean, it, when I think back through my college days, like my swing definitely changed, but there was something that I always thought about. It wasn't, it, and it wasn't analytical within, you know, the impact range, it was that finish or it was something uh, just a little takeaway okay. simple simple thoughts um, like it. has always done it for me so let's go to this question shall we have so from marvin is saying what is your practice routine on the range and the golf course it's a little bit broad okay. obviously but you've already said about the creativity but yeah. what do you specifically do maybe before you go out and play on the range uh like in a tournament yeah yeah i think for tournament wise uh, i'll start out with my 55 degree wedge hit it, some chip shots hit some pitch shots go out you know hit some numbers and then I like to go to my eight iron. I go straight to my eight irons, my favorite club. Thanks for picking that target. <laughs> Definitely not eight iron. We did that on purpose. We researched it. Yeah, I was it. But yeah, I'll, I'll do my eight iron, hit some straight shots, and, okay. and work a little cut. And then I'll go to my five iron, and that's where I'll kind of work it both ways. I'll hit cuts, straight shots, draws. I'll hit a couple of each. Um, move on from there to three wood. Just you know, sight lines. Pick a little fairway. Hit it from there, and then driver. And then I'll go back to a club that I'll use for the first tee. And from there, I'll, I'll do the wedges, uh, just chip a couple 60 degree wedges, 
Uh, but practice wise, like when I'm on the range, I don't like to just beat balls and hit the same shot. Um, I almost like to play a course in my head. Okay. So just say, you know, my next event is Maui, mm -hmm. you know, in the Century Tournament Champions. I'll, I'll think of that course if I've played the course and I will play it on the range uh, and I'll be 18 under hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I think that just helps my creativity, helps me visualize the shots. Yeah. And, and whether I hit those shots or not on, on the actual tournament, you probably won't. Uh, but that it helps. But it's it's different to a wide open driving range, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. It, it narrows your target, makes you really focus in, uh, hit a shot kind of under pressure. Love it. Yeah. I love that. I think anyone listening to this now, watching this, they should definitely be doing that when they're on the practice yeah, some area. Some great useful tips there, and a great insight into what the best players in the world actually think about with their irons and what's important for it as well. Some beautiful shots there. Again, no no sort of practice really, just straight there and pulled them off. Right. We're going to have a challenge time. now. We are going to have a <laughs> challenge now. We're going to take. Colin on to the first flag. He hasn't gone for that yet, so we're hoping that he might need a bit more warming up for that. We're Colin. going to get Sean down there to go and film it, so let's go. We're going to let Colin set the marker because I think then we know what we've got to beat. Yeah, go on then. 152. How are you feeling, Pierce? No what, do you, what do you guys have? I've got nine. I've got Sam Wedge. <laughs> <laughs> you got Wedge? Or we'll, find, we'll find out after I hit Oh, I like it. Anyway, thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next <laughs> Is week. Is there any point in it actually? Oh, get in. Oh. Okay, well, that's about a foot away. All right, I love it. Should we just, <laughs> we actually need a holding one to win. Oh, wow. We need a holding one to oh, win. Come on, I'll get in there. Jeez. <laughs> to be fair, great, great shot. shot. <laughs> great shot. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Oh, it's, all part, it's all part of the act. Might be a little past. Yeah, I wonder how far that. Oh, we never got Sean with the walkie-talkie, did we? No, we didn't. But well, I think we don't need to. <laughs> yeah, 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 guys. So what it's you got? Close. You got nine still. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna get nine. Okay, good luck then, Pierce. All right, let's see what we've got, shall we? What do you think of his swing, Colin? I like it. Not bad, is it? Compact. <laughs> Compact's another word for who's old. Who's a better player? And stiff. Put a bit That's gonna face. work. That is. Go. That's gonna work. Oh, nice shot, Pierce. Good shot. Nice You're shot. A little high in the face. It's like uh, eight feet. Spongy. It's not good enough. Spongy, though, is it? I, I <laughs> this mean, man I, here. I hit a great shot. I, I would take that all day. I'm just gonna. What drive are we gonna, how are we gonna know? I mean, I still think we need to do a measure, obviously. <laughs> just to check. I just look over there for the next uh, <laughs> five that minutes. Here, <laughs> Go on then, Andy. Okay. You haven't had your holding one. I've never yet, had a holding one, so this would be a nice this opportunity. To he do, keeps talking he? about it's going to happen on camera, and you, I think it might. It is. Do you have a holding one? Three. Any? Three. Okay. Don't get one here. In. Don't rub it in. Come on, kick off that bank. Come on, then, get left. Kick off the bank. Take a slope. Oh, bunker. How many you had? How many holding ones? Three. Three? Same as me. Three. Oh, check that out. <laughs> not, <laughs> you really? not many. That's not a lot for someone who's a good iron player like you, but obviously you've I've, had a lot I've of tap-ins. three. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think the last one was at, uh, as a practice day of Walker Cup. Okay. So that was kind of cool. That'll do. That'll do. I'm yeah. assuming he's won then, yeah? You I mean, know he's won check that. this. I mean, he won on the foot. He won straight Sean, away. who's he's won? <laughs> he's stolen them. Ah. <laughs> that one by your foot. Oh, okay, thanks, well done. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. Well done, well done, very thanks, good. Cheers, Colin. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. Colin, what have they got to do? You got to make sure to like and subscribe to Me and My Golf. There we good go. man, look Don't at forget, that. we've got some amazing guests over the next few weeks, so you won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching. Now, if you want to hit your irons like Colin, we have just launched our brand new iron coaching plan where we actually coach you to become an amazing iron player. Absolutely. All you have to do is click the link down below and you'll be just like Colin. Thanks for watching. See you soon.